Uh, our next witness is uh, Chris Norch. He's the president of Denison Industries uh, in Denison, Texas, and uh, he's testifying on behalf of the American Foundry Society. I appreciate you coming today. Thank you. Good morning, Chairwoman Velasquez, Ranking Member Graves, and members of the committee. Thank you for providing me the opportunity to comment on the vital role of the metal casting industry plays as a supplier to the domestic auto industry and how the downturn in the auto industry is having a devastating impact on many of our member companies. As President of Denison Industries, my metal casting facility is comprised of 125 employees specializing in the production of aluminum castings for the automotive, defense, aerospace, and commercial sectors. I'm here representing the American Foundry Society, or AFS, where I serve on its national board of directors and also as a regional vice president. The AFS is a major trade and technical association for the North American metal casting industry. It is comprised of more than 8,500 members representing more than 3,000 metal casting firms, their suppliers, and their customers in every state in the country. The majority of our members are small family-owned businesses with an average workforce of 100 people or less operating in small towns and cities across the country. Thank you, the metal casting industry is a critical supplier to the automotive industry and auto supply chain in general. It provides at least 100 castings in every lightweight vehicle produced in the United States, which equates to more than 600 pounds of cast metal per vehicle. In fact, automobiles and other transportation equipment utilize 31 percent of all castings produced in the U.S., including engine blocks, crankshafts, brake drums, and transmission housings, to name just a few. The recent decision by Chrysler to file bankruptcy and shut down its plants during bankruptcy could not have come at a worse time for our part suppliers whose revenues have already fallen sharply. Our auto suppliers are already trying to figure out how to survive the other recent surprise news that GM would shut many of its plants for most of this coming summer. These shutdowns could and will be disastrous to many metal casters because they're already operating on paper-thin profit margins because of previous production cuts and the strong-arm pricing tactics from the Detroit 3. Some of our small suppliers will have to liquidate because they don't have the resources to reorganize in Chapter 11 bankruptcy over the past six months, 15 metal casters alone have been forced to close their doors and will close shortly from Navistar's Indianapolis Casting Foundry, employing more than 700 workers to 25 workers at the Elmira Pattern and Foundry in New York. Other facilities closing are located across the country, from Monroe City, Missouri, to Warrington, Georgia, to Van Nuys, California. In recent months, we've seen a surge of foundry layoffs directly related to the downturn in the auto sector in hundreds of communities. Grady Foundries, a Milwaukee-based company operating eight foundries, has struggled with the severe downturn in the economy. It has had to lay off hundreds of workers at its Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan plants. A factory manager at St. Cloud, Minnesota foundry recently reported that orders are down from the auto sector 65 percent compared with a year ago. At the end of April, they have announced they'll be closing their Greenwood, South Carolina, automotive foundry in an area that is already hit with 14 percent unemployment. AFS estimates that we could lose another found another 30 foundries in the next six to nine months if we do not see a rebound in the automotive sector and the economy in general. With little attention being focused on the lower tier suppliers, we need Congress and the Obama administration's support to help ensure the survival of Tier 2 and Tier 3 metal casting suppliers. A recovery plan for GM and Chrysler is simply not viable unless it takes into account the entire automotive supply chain, including the metal casting suppliers of small and medium-sized businesses who supply Tier 1 companies. Nonprofit and university medical centers for over 12 years. In addition to the downturn in the auto sector, the medical, metal casting industry must overcome a multitude of domestic and international challenges. We are concerned with pending climate change legislation that could increase our energy costs significantly. We will not be able to compete against foreign manufacturers who already have huge labor, regulatory, and subsidy cost advantages. We are concerned that our government's current trade policies that have dramatically affected the viability of our industry, the future of U.S. domestic metal casting industry and its jobs are severely threatened by the increase of imported castings as offshore facilities have grown to meet more than 23 percent of the demand in the U.S. A number of our U.S. trading partners, and most prominently China, have actively pursued policies that undervalue their currencies and subsidize the manufacturing sectors. Because of these lower costs, our association members continue to see their customers move offshore. We urge you to support the proposed bipartisan currency manipulation bill, the Currency Reform for Fair Trade Act, which will be introduced today. We all have a stake in the strong automotive 
domestic Mobile industry. As Congress and the administration invest billions of dollars into Chrysler and GM, it's vital that we help ensure the survival of Tier 2 and 3 companies in the supply chain. A recovery plan for Chrysler and GM is simply not viable unless it takes into account the entire chain, including metal casting suppliers. Any restructuring plan must preserve jobs in the U.S. and not shift more of GM and Chrysler's manufacturing footprint from the U.S. to Korea, India, and China. The future of our company is intertwined with the success of our manufacturing base. Our country is dependent on a strong economy, and we cannot have such without a strong manufacturing presence. Thank you very much for your time.